Good afternoon everybody, welcome back to my channel Fishing AT. It's uh, Monday the 5th of uh, December and you join me at uh, Stolford on the North Somerset coast. I fished here a few weeks ago um, and it's a high water mark and um, I've come back to uh, almost the same location. I'm probably fishing about 100 yards nearer to Hinkley power station than what I was the, the last time. Um, high tide is um, at about five o'clock. Uh, the tide is still coming in, so probably won't be able to be fishing for probably another 40 minutes or so. Um, I've sort of almost set up. I, um, I got my bivvy today because it's quite a strongish noisily wind blowing and um, I've set, ab set up above the high tide mark and um, you can see here at Stolford if you've never fished here before you've got a shingle bank quite a large shingle bank there behind that you've got a big drop off uh, into fields and then you've got about 20 yards of um, of rocks and weeds so the small boulders and stuff like that and then the mark sort of um, comes out onto sand and mud so uh, a little 20 30 yard cast will get you onto onto the sands here which is relatively firm and then as the further you go out you've got uh, you've got more mud there you can see where maybe it looks a bit shinier that's mud bank and i've got some broken ground on the left hand side of where we're going to be fishing so i'm going to be putting a couple of rods into that it's not too bad there's the odd snag but uh, we should be able to manage that and I'll probably put one rig onto the uh, the mud sand sort of area. So as I said, it's a high water mark. Uh, I'll be fishing probably for two and a half hours up and two and a half hours down. Baits today, I've just got lugworm and um, squid. Um, picked that up from um, Real Fun Fishing in Porter's Head. So I'm going to be fishing probably pulley panels with um, I probably have one with just squid on, and then. I might fish three rods, so um, the other two with lug and squid, uh, lug and squid pulleys, size 2.0. Um, target species really is whatever comes along. Just happy to be out today. I think it's the only chance I'm going to get to be fishing this week. Um, so conditions aren't ideal, as I say. There's that quite strong northwesterly, northeasterly wind, about uh, 12 to 15 mile an hour. You can probably hear it on the camera. Last time I came, I had uh, conga. Um, small cod, dogfish and whiting. If you watch that video and I also lost a big big conger, probably a double finger conger. So um, really just glad to be out and hopefully can, uh, can uh, just enjoy the evening and might uh, get a couple of fish uh, if we're lucky. So I'll come back to you once, uh, once we're fishing. So the rough ground in front of me is pretty much very small um, pebbles and so you got little, little rocks and stuff uh, interdispersed with little patches of, of, of mud. There's quite a lot of small lugworm on the um, on the sandy bits, little worm casts. So uh, it looks like there's plenty of uh, food here to, for fish to to be interested in. Got odd patches of weed. So there's quite a bit of weed on the high tide line. So uh, we'll have to see how bad that is uh, when the tide's uh, coming in. And um, you can see there, I've almost, uh, I've walked out about probably 120 yards from where my bivvy is at the moment. And uh, you can just see the tide there, it's probably about 50 yards in front of me, just starting to come in. And you can see some of the mud here. It's quite, uh, it's not quite ankle deep, but it's, uh, it's quite very, very soft. Um, it feels like there's a uh, relatively firm base underneath. So um, just have to be careful when you're casting onto that that you uh, you uh, <coughs> you might have to pull hard to uh, to break it out um, if you land on a really soft patch of uh, patch of mud. So um, yeah, looking forward to this one. As I say, never quite sure what, what you're going to catch, but it's just nice to be to be out. And you can probably see Hinkley in the in the distance there. Um, and obviously, as we pan round, it's probably. 
one of these, I, I'm not sure what, where that one is, that's up towards Green and Burnham on sea, and then you, you come round, you've got St Steep Home there, and then beyond you've got the Welsh, uh, the Welsh coast. Yeah, just got blow lug from uh, Real Fun Fishing, and typically I uh, just, I got, they're quite small, so I've got four here on a baiting needle that will that will go on and I'll probably put a fifth on the hook once I've threaded those on and uh, I'm going to tip off with, uh, with, uh, with, with squid. So the tide's uh, just about 40 yards from the bivvy or so. So just baiting up now and we're going to get, uh, get first casts out. On the, uh, the right hand rod there, the grey rod, I've got a squid, whole squid and a couple of squid heads on a pulley panel. And then the other two rods, I'm fishing uh, lugworm uh, tipped with ragworm uh, pulley panels. Um, bit of an odd occurrence on one of my first casts, the um, clip that connects the leader to the um, pulley runner bead actually managed to unclip itself. So there's a nice trace uh, out in the uh, in the Bristol Channel. Hopefully it doesn't uh, snag anything, catch anything. I'll, um, I should be able to uh, walk to where it was at lower tide tonight when I'm packing up, just to see if it's uh, it's there and try and uh, catch it. I may even retrieve it on one of the um, one of the um, casts. I actually cast out and the, the, the rig went out, and then I just tightened up and I kept tightening and I kept tightening and uh, the clip was, uh, had unclipped, so that uh, doesn't happen, I can't remember when that last happened. Anyway, it's good to be fishing, we'll, um, we'll see how we go. Good colour in the water is always here, and um, it'll be interesting to see uh, how we do over the next three or four hours. Got a bite here on the red rod. something there it's about an hour and a half before high water put it up a good scrap whatever it is My money is on a conga. Oh no, what's oh, cod? Oh, look at that. Nice Bristol Channel cod. That's uh get the tape measure on that and see what uh, what size so pretty chuffed with that uh, cod uh, on the lug and squid pulley panel um, he was hooked in the lip with the chinu hook and was 43 centimeters so um, I actually kept him so uh, I'll be having him for probably tomorrow for tea or something like that 
So really, uh, really happy about that. Uh, oh, there we go. Give a good account of himself. And uh, won't be wasted. I'll eat that, it's lovely. So it's uh, pretty cold actually, quite blustery, that wind. So I'm pretty glad I brought my uh, my, my uh, igloo, just to get a little bit out of the wind. And um, yeah, I might have been a bit excited on the thing. We've probably got about an hour, 20 minutes to high water. So uh, a good start, fingers crossed for a few more. It's gone uh, high water and um, just still that one bite and one cod, very quiet. Um, so we're fishing the ebb now, probably for two, maybe two and a half hours at most. So um, yeah, pretty quiet, but uh, there's always hope uh, of a of a fish. The nuclear glow of Hinkley Point. Well, short video generally means a short session and not a lot caught. So uh, it's two hours after high tide, so I fished two and a half hours up, two hours back, and obviously the, the water's gone now. And uh, obviously had that cod about hour 20 or so minutes before high tide. I then had one really good slack line bite about an hour after high tide, but I missed it, unfortunately. Um, I was a bit, a little bit impatient, had all the slack line mounted in, was feeling for it, thought I felt it, but it wasn't there. So uh, a different sort of session, at least I had a nice cod, 43 centimeters. So there's one for the pan tomorrow and uh, a little bit of different session to what the, the last session was at Stolford where I, on my previous video, where I was getting a lot of bites, pretty much every cast um, for the sort of hour or so either side of high water and obviously caught more fish. But anyway, it's worth a, a trip back and uh, for another go. And then uh, we'll see, uh, we'll see what uh, uh, the rest of the, well, maybe next week, might be able to get out next week, I think. Can't get out for the, certainly for the first few days of this week now, stuff to do. So we'll see, uh, we'll see what we can do uh, maybe for another trip next week. So, I hope you enjoyed it. It's a short video, so sorry there couldn't be more fish, but that's how it goes sometimes. You've got to have the, the quieter sessions to uh, offset the good sessions that we have. So as always, take care everyone and uh, speak to you all again soon. Bye now.